Mobil saya is my car. Mobil merah saya is my red car. Mobil merah teman saya is my friend's red car. What? Hello everyone, welcome back to Marimung Indonesia from Basa Basa Learning Center. My name is Donna and I will assist you today in learning Indonesian. Have you ever learned about possessive pronouns in Indonesian? If you haven't, today's topic is perfect for you. Today we are learning the possessive pronouns in Indonesian, which little did you know have a different grammatical pattern to English. But before we are going into that, do you know what possessive pronouns are? And yes, possessive pronouns are linguistic tools that helps us express ownership and relationship. They allow us to convey who owns something and therefore possessive pronouns play a very crucial role in daily conversation. Unlike in English, possessive pronouns in Indonesian are way more simple. Nevertheless, it could also be quite challenging for a foreigner because of their unfamiliarity with its grammatical pattern. Let me show you several phrases using possessive pronouns in Indonesian. I will say the Indonesian sentence first and the English translation after. For example, mobil saya means my car in English. As you guys know, my is a possessive pronoun to modify the word car. In other words, the object is owned by a single subject. My means saya in Indonesian and saya shares the same meaning with I in English. Then mobile means car. So now let's try comparing these two phrases. My car. The possessive phrase starts with the pronouns first and followed by the object later. In Indonesian, the sentence my car will translate to mobil saya. The word mobil appears first followed by the word saya. So, the difference is that possessive pronouns grammatical structure in English are like this. While in Indonesian, it is all right, so you now know the formula. Let's take a look at the second example. Mobil merah saya. Now we are at a higher difficulty level of making possessive pronouns. Do you understand the difference of the grammatical pattern here? The grammatical pattern of the phrase my red car is something like this. The adjective red here modifies the word car adding a more detailed description of the object. The Indonesian phrase of mobil merah saya, which consists of these words, the grammatical pattern of this phrase is like this, object plus adjective and plus possessive pronouns. The adjective merah here functions the same as the phrase in the English version which modifies the word mobil. So, in Indonesian, an adjective comes after the object. To make it into an expression of possession, just add the possessive pronouns in the end of the phrase or sentence. Through this example, now we can tell the difference between the English and Indonesian possessive pronouns. Well, it's just the reverse. Fantastic! To make sure you already have a good understanding of today's topic, let's take a look at another example. Mobil merah teman saya. Now, what about this one? Inferred from this phrase, there are two objects owned by a single person friend and car. Let's divide this into two phrases, mobil merah and teman saya. Similar to the first example, the phrase teman saya is structurally composed like this, which is a pattern of possessive pronoun in Indonesian, the reverse of English structure. Mobil merah, as it is mentioned in the second example, is composed like this. However, in this example, the phrase teman saya here indicates a third-person pronoun which plays as the owner of the object, which is mobil merah. 
so the pattern actually stays the same. There you go! You now know how to form a possessive pronoun in Indonesian. By having the Indonesian pronounce formula at hand, you can always use and practice it with your Indonesian friends, Indonesian colleagues, or your Indonesian fellows to deepen your understanding of Indonesian. Don't hesitate to leave comments about today's topic and follow our YouTube channel and Instagram to learn more about Indonesian language. And always check our website on basabasa.id. I will see you next time. Sampai jumpa. Dadah!